Hey guys, welcome back to Cairn Creek. I'm Jeremy here in Southern Ohio. Come on. All right, Cairn Creek 2.0, that's where we shall go in today's show. Let's go. <laughs> Bulldozers, trackos, trees, roofs, or trees on roofs. I don't know. Let's go see what we got going on. Let's go. Well, the next pressing steps here at 2.0 is to get that floor out so we can redo the plumbing, get the the site layout with the plumbing stub ups and all that stuff. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting our door openings. So this window right here behind me, it's going to end up being a door. So you can park on this carport and walk right in to the laundry room, mud room type deal. On this back here, French doors, nice glass, open windows. So we're gonna cut that out. Obviously doing these things, it's gonna get us better access. We jackhammer this floor out make things a little bit easier we're gonna fire up the concrete saw one of the tools i do not like to run the most let's uh let's do a teachable thing right here because this would be a good question that people might ask let's go over something real quick let's talk about the structure of this project these are room trusses running side to side so this french door opening i'm not worried about that we the header is purely aesthetic it's not a structural load now in this opening we have a window right here that we're gonna make into a door now this is structural. We have two trusses sitting above this window. Two trusses. We have a steel lintel in there right now. So what I've done, I split the difference. Our lintel extends past my line almost four inches on each side. So I'm going to call that a win. Now once we get this cut out, this will be all framed in with some wood so it'll gain a little bit more strength. So that's uh, just trying to spearhead a possible question about what we're doing. So I cut this out. It's not going to fall on me. I hope. Let's go. should mention as the smoke clears that we have a lot of new subscribers since we've last visited Cairn Creek 2.0. This is a property that sits right across from our big 140 acre property that we plan on fixing it up into like a B&B &B type situation. Obviously a long ways to go but the location is killer against the state property and it's going to be a fun winter project I hope. Obviously there's a lot of stuff I could do this winter. I chose to do this but it's just the location is perfect. The price wasn't perfect, but the location's perfect. So I'm tickled that we got the opportunity to jump on this and put our skills to test this winter. Maybe, maybe you'll be staying here one day. Who knows? Got those openings cut in. Feels real good to have those done. That job sucks, but we got another sucky job today over here at Karen Creek 2.0, and it's gonna be dusty and messy again. Oh, a morning update here. Rondo is fine. He said the toilet seat was on fire. <laughs> oh, Rondo, he's a character. Oh boy, this is a messy job. I really wish I had something more exciting for you today, guys. It's a Sunday fun day. It's been here, it's been a hot mess. But we're moving forward on this little Cairn Creek 2.0 project. Feeling real good about it. If you remember, this old staircase was rag ass. So I had to re-support, build some new headers on each side, cut this truss system out a little bit so we can have stairs that go up one way. This, the old one was a two way and it was just crazy. Upstairs is all clean. So it's Tuesday night, getting ready to push down this crazy tree over here at Can Creek 2.0. Might as well again turn the camera on because you never know what's gonna happen. This tree's going on the wrong way. But we're gonna try to muscle it down the way we want it to go without hitting the little lean-to structure. Let's see what we got. The inspector's on site in case anything goes the wrong way. <laughs> he says, oh geez.
All right, we'll get a little end cap action here, guys. See what we got. So we're gonna try to reach up as high as we can and make it go the way we want it to go. Here we go. By God, that was about perfect. Didn't get the other camera. Rondo looks happy. He's probably over there giggling, guys. All right, let's go clean it up. <laughs> well, that one didn't go as planned. I thought that one would be an easy one. And I got myself pinched in a pickle. And I had to slowly lay it down on the roof. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know if I'm out of the woods yet. Out of the woods. Nathan, you watching? Now the problem is <clears throat> my left side is unstable. When I go to pick up on that, it's wanting to pull me over the bank. Maybe I didn't lay it down as easy as what I thought. One rafter replacement coming up. Got most of this bank cleared off like I wanted it, sloped like I wanted it. Got some more trees out behind me here. So now we're doing a French drain. No big deal, right? Normally, no. But I've already shown you how tough I am on this roof structure. I haven't hit it yet, but I did start digging. So the way I'm digging now, so I'm off kilter, leaning towards the building, obviously. We got some unexpected drain last night, so it's slick. As I dig, I keep sliding into the closer and closer, so it's a little tricky. Let's jump in a track hoe and show you what I'm talking about. So on my top right here, I'm super close to the, the lean-to rafters. 
So I've only digged so far before I've got to reposition. Easy. Uh -huh. I mean, we're talking mere inches. And as I spin, that's when I wiggle a little bit. And it slowly creeps towards these two by fours I got stacked beside me. My reclaimed two by fours. So now I'm trying to talk on camera, watch the building roof, dig a French drain, Cairn Creek 2.0, come on. Honestly, I've not hit the building yet, I promise. Well, I haven't hit the building on this project. Yet. All right, step one's complete. We got this trench dug. Now we're gonna put down just a little bit of gravel underneath to kind of act as a filtration system, just to buffer that pipe. Pretty much all we're doing is covering the, the ground just a little bit. And then we'll put our pipe in and cover it. Something else I wanna do is I wanna set this little catch basin in the center Two reasons. It gets me an access point to clean this line out, observe what's going on with this line's having troubles. And then two, it gives me a place for a surface drain. This will all end up being concrete on this carport, and if this sits out here, when I wash that off, it can all come down to this surface drain. I like it. There's three types of this corrugated pipe. It comes in, in rolls in three inch, four inch, and six inch. This here's got the slots and little cuts. It's to let water in from all angles and then take the water out. They have a kind with holes in the bottom of it. That's pretty much let the water's coming into the pipe and then it needs to get out of the pipe. Then the third type solid. This is four inch corrugated pipe. I hate using it for most stuff, but this is uh, the correct application in this, in this job. Kind of the finished product. I will put a band of seed around that and straw. Just kind of running out of time today and I'll tell you why. For the three years we've owned Cairn Creek, the mother property across the road, I've only had the camper out to the fair. I've not had any place else. We have some great friends and family, Pete and Kay Hoyt. Every year they have a fall ride. It's where a bunch of people get together and just have a good time. So I took the camper out there. That's where we're staying this weekend. I came back to work here on a Saturday. So I'm not gonna say the over and out thing right now because this video is pretty much done with work. But I'm gonna take this opportunity because the Cairn Creek, the journals here, they are kind of like journals. It's documenting our progress and what we do. It's something we can look back on in years to come. Now I also hope it provides you guys some entertainment. Now having said all that to say this, I'm gonna take about the next five minutes in this video to showcase the annual Hoyt Fall Ride. They've got a beautiful farm. Several hundred acres, probably close to 700, 800 acres, and we're going to go play on that property today and tons of our friends. So if you want to stick around to see my little Hoyt Fall Ride segment, stay on here. And if you don't, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Karen Creek, over and out.
That's the owner. Uh, or the owner. There's Miss Kate. Uh, probably not. Looks like it's pretty good condition. Sketchy. <laughs> What's your words of wisdom, Rondo? Oh, yeah. Hey, we're playing song. They've got him now. That's not a song. Uh, He's yodeling, that's good. That is yeah.